Hey, I'm Sean Golden, and you're in the vault. We're hanging out with my friend here today, Keith St. John. How are you, my friend? Good to be here. How's it going? <laughs> so you are doing this really great show, <clears throat> Ronnie Montrose Remembered, on Saturday. Tell That's us right. about that. All right. Well, uh... I mean, how did that come about? I know you were a singer. Yeah, so back in about August, mm -hmm. um, this venue down near the NAM convention asked me, hey man, you, you got anything you want to do during NAM weekend this year? And I hadn't worked with them in a few years. Okay. I used to host these guitar players' balls down there and do some other stuff, guitar players' parties down there, <laughs> and, uh, and some other things that I, I was asked to do over the years. So for some reason they were asking me, I don't know why. And um, right then, it had been like three and a half years since Ronnie passed, and I hadn't thought about doing anything, and it just... It just came out of my mouth. I said, why don't we do something for Ronnie Montrose? Mm -hmm. We haven't done a memorial down here in LA. I feel like doing that. Let me uh, email you everything that I think it could be. Take a look at it and get back to me. And they were delighted. And I, I just started setting it up. That's it. Now we're here. Uh, I don't know what this is six months later. Yeah, wow, yeah. that's quick. You put that together really quickly. So, so who do you have on the bill? All right, so no telling between now and four days from now who else is going to jump on, because okay. believe me, people have been. Right. But I've got uh, Brad Whitford from Aerosmith, which was one of the first guys to come along. Mm -hmm. Big name, big guy, great guy. Um, Derek St. Holmes from Ted Nugent. Mm -hmm. He sang Stranglehold uh, back then. And both of those guys are obviously Ronnie's contemporaries. You know, yes. we're doing stuff in the 70s when Ronnie was around, you know, with his early bands, Edgar Winter and, and Montrose, the original mm -hmm. Montrose. So it's really great to have them because, you know, they were around for the era. They come with the vibe. Right on. Um, we've got uh, Brad Gillis from Night Ranger, Tracy Guns from LA Guns, uh, Gilby Clark from Guns N' Roses, Doug Aldridge from Whitesnake and Dio, now with Glenn Hughes. Uh, am I missing anybody? Yourself? I'm missing a few people, <laughs> yeah. Um, Drummer-wise, we've got Carmine Apiece, mm -hmm. you know, from Jeff Beck, which was one of Ronnie's you, big heroes. Mm -hmm. So um, he'll probably say a few words, I hope, while he's there about, you know, stuff that was going on back at the time and say some nice things to the audience. Um, got a drummer named Jimmy DeGrasso. Nice. Who's been in lots of different bands. Uh, he was with David Lee Roth. He was with Ozzy, Megadeth. Um, and now he's in Black Star Riders. He was in Montrose um, during the time period that I was with Ronnie. Mm -hmm. When I was with Ronnie, for about 13-ish years, seemed like um, we would have rhythm sections for about approximately two years at a time-ish, mm -hmm. some longer. Um, and um, Jimmy was in the band at a time, uh, mostly when David Ellefson was playing bass. Oh, who's nice. another huge player, David from Megadeth. Right. Um, those guys had had experience together in Megadeth before that. So they had a tight pocket and were a great team. And that run of what I call the later Montrose mm -hmm. um, really was one of the strongest ones we had. So it's, it's great that they're both going to be there. Nice. So the three of us will be back together. And I can't tell you what guitar player is going to play with us on the different songs. But mm -hmm. that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, also from YNT, we have Brad Lang. Love Brad Lang. Uh, me too. We have a little bit of history because YNT being a Bay Area band, um, well, back when Phil Kennemore was, was bass player, um, we did a lot of gigs with YNT. We actually went out on a package tour with them one mm -hmm. or two years, okay. and um, so we got to know them rather well. Brad's a personal friend of mine. Great, great, great. <laughs> so um, you'll have someone to hang out with at the yeah, concert. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Someone, to, he's going to be on the red carpet I'm working tonight, too. Yeah. See, there you go. So what, do, I mean, you, you were with uh, Ronnie for a long time. And this might be a little bit personal, but what do you miss most about him? Oh, geez. On a personal level. Yeah, no. That's okay that's to ask. That's a lot of what I miss about him. You know, Ronnie was kind of a, he had a big brother vibe with me. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he's just a, I don't know what happened in the 60s. Something happened when people were doing those drugs back then. <laughs> but it cleared their minds. Like, nice. so much clearer than ours are. Like the Beatles said, that, you know. Mind expanding drugs. Mm -hmm. I kind of believe it, even though I'm too wimpy to try it. But, uh, you know, Ronnie just saw things in a different light. You know, he'd be struggling with a problem and he'd come along and he'd say, Keith, just do this. And you'd go, of course. 
you know, that yeah. kind of thing. And so I really miss him being around for that. And his wisdom. Yeah, the wisdom and the and the follow up and the and the real kind of brotherhood thing was always cool. And the straight shooting of him. I mean, there's stuff he didn't like and he just he'd let you know in a nice way. Mm -hmm. But there was never anything hidden. You never had to watch out that you were treading on ground that may or may not be something he might or might not like. You just knew what it was all the time. How and wonderful. He's straight It's refreshing. Shooter. You know, it was a refreshing, refreshing guy. In today's world, I mean, he had a, I, I don't know, maybe you would call it an old-fashioned sense of straight-upness and just forthrightness all the time because, you know, kind of, ironically, you know, life is too short. It is too short. But I think that he will be smiling oh, in yeah. heaven Saturday night for you and your show, and I think it's wonderful that you're putting this together for his music, his fans, and then of course, all of you guys that played with him. And or, you know, that love the music and want to play the, the songs. Absolutely, absolutely. Awesome. And you know what a big, big reason is, is the fans, our fans, see we had a sort of, we developed another sort of set of fans. Mm -hmm. There were the old fans from the early days who were, you know, in that age bracket to have been there back in sure. the 70s and see whatever. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those people, yes, are still around. There was another revival in what I'm calling sort of the later Montrose, which includes some of those people and more people that were actually kind of following us around. Nice. You know, and since Ronnie's passed, a lot of those people, especially in the L.A. area, never really got a chance to even kind of do a celebratory memorial anything mm -hmm. for Ronnie. So I see this as a way for them to actually come and get as close as they can. Wonderful. You know, so I, I'm really digging the fact for them that we're doing it, and I've got gotten a ton of emails and, and phone calls and all kinds of stuff on social media talking about it and, you know, exes of his and old friends and dreams people have had and, and, and photos coming in, and it's, it's just been really, really cool. That's wonderful. I'm glad that you're doing this. Yeah. That's awesome. Know? Well, I'm not going to take up too much of your time on this rainy day. <laughs> In L.A., <laughs> who rain. knew? Yeah, we, I was just telling Keith that um, Brandon and I, my camera guy, we went to Pink's, and Pink's is usually a line around the block. We walked right in and ordered some, and I was almost like, what is there, a zombie apocalypse going on here? Where is everybody? There is a zombie apocalypse, actually, <laughs> right on, what is that, La Brea? If you just go a little further down and, you know, okay. Um, <laughs> but, but I mean, where is everybody? Is it, but this woman, we just, some stranger says, oh, when it's raining in L.A., everybody stays indoors. So was there enough, uh, as much puddles in the street as there were in the actual hot dog little dishes? <laughs> no, I love Pink's. No, it's, Pink's is awesome. Pizza's um, really good. Cool. I'm going to pay for it tomorrow, I'm sure, you know, because I don't have any place to work out. We have a rental in Anaheim. Did you guys pull up in a big black limo at Pink's? No. <laughs> <laughs> Something I always do. Yeah. Oh, is that what you do? Oh, pull all up the in time, a black yeah. limo? No, I always see this limo parked out there anytime I go past there in a big crowd of people, and I wonder what, what the hell is going on at Pink's. It's Brad Pitt. It, it, yeah, or, or Jay Leno, <laughs> one of the two, Leno. one of the Somebody. two. Maybe they'll be at your show Saturday night. <laughs> I hope so. If they know music, they'll be at your show, I hope right? they bring some dogs and some puddles. <laughs> All right, we're going to let you go. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Shannon. Yeah. Thanks for coming by. For sure. And I'll uh, see you at the show. Um, need anything at the show, give me a call. You got my number. Okay, cool. And we'll see you all there. See you later.